Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alex. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Give me a second. Can you hear me, Luis? Yes, teacher. I can listen to you very well. Okay, good. Uh, you know, because I'm using a different computer, so the signal that I receive with this one is not as good as the one that I usually use, but the one that I use is in the office. So, uh, so I have to make sure that the signal of the internet is, is really good. So I guess I guess the signal is very well, but the sound, in my opinion, it's not very well because I I received some kind of um how I can say in interruption. Yeah, interference. Interference, right, right. That's the word. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. I don't know why, uh, because I was using also different headsets, and these are like, you know, like very basic. So hopefully the lesson will be well yeah. delivered. Maybe that is the reason, maybe. Right, right. Okay. So welcome back, everybody. What's today's date? What's today's date? The date, the date of today is uh, when is March 9th. March 9th, yes. How do you spell 9th? N I N E T H. Okay, someone else wants to try how you spell nine? Number nine in ordinal. So today is Tuesday, Tuesday, March 9th. 2021. You see the chat? Yes. So how do you spell nine? N I N T H. Good. Very good. So what is the difference between nine and nine? What's the difference in terms of spelling? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Can you hear me? Yes, they sure. So, I uh -huh. see a nine is a number, and nine is like a, 
uh, num ordinal number, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's the difference. The difference is nine is cardinal number, ninth is ordinal number. So that is the difference. All right, so welcome back. Do you remember the topics we covered uh, last night, yesterday? Yes, you sure. Which topics? About the animals. We were discussing animals. Sorry, what animal represents you the best? Which animal do you identify with? Anybody? Me, I'm the lion teacher. Leticia? Lion teacher. The lion, good. Who else? An eagle. Eagle, very good. Who else? Uh huh. So, everybody else, uh, you don't have any animal that represents you? Yes, the dog. The dog, okay. Someone else? Someone else, someone else? No? Okay, I, I guess. Identify a uh, dog. Dog. Big dog or small dog? A small dog. All right. Any breed in particular? No, no. Okay. Anybody else wants to mention which animal you identify with? Uh huh. Anybody? Okay, so what was the other topic uh, that we discussed yesterday? It's a question. So which other topics did we discuss yesterday? Uh-huh. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. So why do you stay quiet? What? What other topic besides animals did we discuss yesterday? Teacher, I I hear you, but a little bit. I don't know what happened with your internet or but I hear you rare. Okay. May, do I sound pronunciation? Choppy? Do I sound choppy? What is choppy? Choppy means I don't know. In parts. In oh parts. yeah. Choppy. Do I sound choppy? Yes. yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the computer that I'm using, so I will consider making a change and and use another computer. Okay, someone mentioned the ED pronunciation in past tense. That is correct. How many different options do we have? Three. Three. Three three options. Options. So you say what? You say cleaned, and you have wanted, cooperated, investigated. So um, those are the three sounds, the three options that we have to pronounce ED in the past form. Any questions or comments? Not no, teacher. No, no question, teacher. Okay, let me ask you. How do you practice your pronunciation? How do you practice your speaking? When you have a singing. Time? Singing. Singing is good. Very good. Other options? Other options? Read articles in English. Excellent. Read articles in English. Yeah. 
do you ever practice with tongue twisters? No. Do you know the meaning of tongue twisters? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Twister. So tongue is the organ that we use for speaking. Twister is like when you're doing laundry, you grab a t-shirt and you go like this. That's twist, twist. So let me show you. Let's see this here. Second, okay, we have. Can you see the, the word document? Yes, yes, so we have, we have three tongue twisters that are very simple and easy to reproduce, easy to pronounce. The first one says, She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. When you say this tongue twister, what sound are you practicing? A speaking. Okay, a speaking but, professor. Okay, but what sound in, in particular? Yes. Okay, the S and what else? C S H S H. Very good. So she sells seashells by the seashore. Volunteer to tell me the first uh, tongue twister. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. She sells seashells by the seashore. Excellent. Very good. Another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Go she, ahead. She sells seashells. Please help by the seizure. Good, very good. Another volunteer. Me. Go ahead. She sells she's seashells by the seizure. Excellent. Someone else. Uh -huh. She sells seashells by the seizure. Yes, she sells seashells by the seizure. Remember, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So she sells seashells by the seashore. How do you say um, barato in English? Cheap. Cheap. Okay. Cheap. okay, listen carefully. Cheap. 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 Now, inside your cell phone, what, is, what do you have so you can be assigned a, a phone number? Uh huh. What is inside your cell phone? Something very small. Chip. A chip. chip. <laughs> uh -huh. So listen, listen carefully. The first one said, "Oh, these shoes are cheap. Cheap. It's a long sound." And then you say, "I don't have a cell phone because I need a chip." The sound is similar, but it's different. Yep. Now you say. Chip? How do you say barco? Chip. 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 How do you pronounce this one? Uh huh. This one here. Cheese. Okay, cheese. 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 What about the last one? Cheese. 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 Right, so in English, these are some particular sounds that give 
problems uh, to English learners. So you have to make sure that you pronounce it well. Another volunteer to say that the first tongue twister? Me. Go ahead, Laura. She sells seashells by the seashore. Very good. And remember, you say the noun, you say them tomorrow. And the idea is that as you practice, you increase the velocity. So you say, she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. So you say it fast. But like I said, it takes practice. What about the second one? Rubber baby body bumpers. Rubber baby body bumpers. What sound are we practicing there? What's the sound? Uh -huh. B. Which B? Labial or labial dental? Mm. Labial, labial or labial dental? Labial. Labial. Remember, what do you understand by labial? When you're using only your lips. Labial. Robert. Baby, body, bumpers. Volunteer, please. Me. Go ahead, please. Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Someone else, please. Me. Yes, go ahead. Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Excellent. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Excellent. Someone else. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, Robert. Bird. Thanks. Uh, Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Excellent. Yes. Someone else. Me. Go ahead. Robert, baby. Robert, baby, buggy bumpers. Excellent. Someone else. Me, Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Excellent. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Who else? <laughs> oh. Rubber baby buggy <laughs> bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Excellent. Someone else? It may be sent a statement, teacher. What is it? What did you say, Maximiliano? Uh, is, is the is it a statement? I, I cannot hear you. Okay. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Yes, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Excellent. Someone else. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Excellent. Someone else. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Antonio. Rubber, rubber baby buggy bumper. Excellent. Someone else. Me. Go ahead. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Excellent, Sarai. Someone else? Someone else? Okay. So the last one is a little bit longer. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So listen carefully. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What sound are we practicing there? W, w, w sound. Yes. What else besides the W sound? Uh huh. O. Letter O. Letter O. Vowel O. Okay, it could be a vowel O, but there's another sound that we're practicing and we're making emphasis on. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? What is the sound that we're practicing? Chuck. Wood and chuck. Uh huh. C H. C H. C -H. Uh, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay. <laughs> how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Volunteer. Volunteer. Me. Yes, go ahead, Luis. How much will a will, uh, will chop chop if a will chop could chop will? Excellent, very good. Another volunteer. 
Me, teacher. Go ahead, Leticia. How much will go a uh, good chuck chuck of good chuck called chuck gold? Okay, yes. Another volunteer. Sure. Yes, Antonio? Uh, and Isaac. Yes. Oh, Isaac, sorry. Yes, Isaac. How much? Okay. How much wood? Wood, uh, wood chuck? Uh, chuck is a uh, wood chuck called chuck wood. Excellent. Excellent. Someone else? Me. Go ahead. How much wood wood a uh, wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck wood chuck wood? Okay, good. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck? Good. Excellent. Someone else? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? Excellent. <laughs> Another volunteer. Me. Me, teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh huh. How how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Excellent. Someone else? Someone else? Someone Me. else? Yes. How much wood will a chuck wood chuck wood chuck? Uh huh. How much wood? Would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Try again, please. How please. much wool? wool? Okay, no. Right, How right. much wool? Okay. How much wool will a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Excellent. Very good. Nice. Another volunteer? Me. Go ahead. How much would a wood would chuck chuck if a wood chuck would chuck wood? Okay, good, very good. Another volunteer. Me, Me teacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. How much would will a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Excellent. Yes, sir. Go ahead now. How much wood? Bull at wood chuck chuck it a wood chuck could chuck wood. Excellent, very good. Another volunteer. Okay. Okay. Teacher Max. Yes, yes, Max. Go ahead. Okay, how much we will wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck a wood? Okay, good. How much wood will a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Very good. Someone else? Someone else? Remember, practice makes perfect. Me, teacher. Go ahead, how, Carla. How much wool will a wool chuck chuck if a wool chuck will chuck wool? Excellent. Excellent. Someone else? Someone else? Someone else? No? Okay, remember, it is important that you practice. Remember, when you practice, you make mistakes and when you make mistakes you receive correction self-correction correction from one of your friends correction from the teacher but but you're improving so you need to make you need to um uh, practice and participate all right any questions about these tongue twisters No. We share only I like it. All right. And remember the same way you use tongue twisters uh, in Spanish and you say them fast. That's the idea of practicing uh, in English too. So you practice, you practice, you practice, and as you practice, you increase velocity. All right. Anything else? Any questions? A challenge. Yes. It can be a challenge too. Repeat the three sentences. Yeah, yeah. You know, like when, when, when you finish the class, okay, I'm going to practice this S and SH. I'm going to practice B as a uh, label. I'm going to practice W and CH as well. So, yeah, 
I mean, practice uh, uh, with the three different tongue twisters. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, can you share this, this tongue twister in the chat? It's already there. Somebody Please. shared them. Glenda shared the, the, the image. Thank you, Glenda. So it's in the WhatsApp chat already. It's right there. Okay, any other questions or comments? No? No question. Okay. So while you're working in the platform, you will find, let's see this here. Uh -huh. What is this? It's right here. Okay. How do you pronounce the first word? This one. Language. 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 Look at the topic. What is the stress in these words? What is the meaning of stress? Do you remember the, the meaning of the word stress? Acento. Yes. Pressure. Okay. Yeah, so languages. How many syllables do you hear when you say the word languages? Um, maybe three syllables. Three, three syllables, syllables is correct. Where is the stress when you say the word languages? Len? Yes, it's in the first syllable. How do you pronounce the second one? Understand. 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 How many syllables are there? Understand. How many syllables are there? Where is the stress? Stand. In the last syllable. Understand. Okay, listen carefully. Do you say understand? Do you say understand or do you say understand? Understand. So understand, understand, or understand. Which one is correct? Unders. So where, where is the stress? Understand. Understand. Um, understand. Understand. Uh -huh. Okay, what about number three? How do you pronounce number three? Robotic. 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 Yeah, very good. Robotics. 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 Okay, listen carefully. Robotics, robotics, or robotics? Robotics. 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 Okay, so what is the stress? Where's the stress? Both. Both. Uh -huh. What about telephone? Second syllable. In the second syllable. Very good. What if I say telephone? Telephone. How many syllables are there? Telephone. Telephone. Uh -huh. Four. Four. Telephone. Four syllables. Three. Or five. Three. Three or okay, raise your hand if you say three syllables. For me, three syllables. Okay. For me, three syllables. Okay, now raise your hand if you say four syllables. Okay, now remember, we classified the number of syllables according to the number of vowels that you hear. Telephone. So when you say telephone, there are three syllables. Telephone. Uh, now, you see four vowels, but the last vowel is quiet. So, telephone. Give me water. Telephone. Telephone. Three syllables. Telephone. And where is the stress? Where's the stress? Telephone. 
tell me. Can you say it? Fong? Fong? Tell In the first. Tell it. In the first. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. First syllable. What about transmission? Transmission. Transmission. Trans transmission. 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 For me, the word has three syllables. Transmission. Yes. It has three syllables. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Next. Three yeah. three syllables. Okay. Now, where is the stress? Trans. Trans. Do you want the first syllable? Okay, do you, say, do you say transmission? Do you say in the, in the transmission? Or do you say transmission? No. Transmission. 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 The, second, the, second. the second syllable. Yes. The second syllable. Transmission. Transmission. Uh, are not writing in the writing. Excuse me? The word is not written in writing. Yeah, the word is not written well. Yes. Okay. You're right. You're right. How do you spell transmission the correct form? T-R-A-N-S-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. -S 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 Excellent. So it's exactly the same way we have it here, but it has double S. Which other thing would you modify? What else is not necessary there? What else? La tilde. Exactly. So remember that the stress mark or the accent mark does not exist in English. It does not exist in English. So this is a Spanish word, transmission, but the idea was to put it in English, double S, and you have to eliminate the accent mark. Good observation, Luis. And the last one is VCR, VCR. VCR. Okay. VCR is not a word. VCR, it's a... Um, mm. It's a... Um, Uh-huh. Somebody In have it? a noise? What is it? Initial. Okay, so what do you call a word where every, every letter is the initial of something else? Acro, acro what? Acronym. 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 Very good. So VCR. What is the meaning of VCR? Visual some. <laughs> Anybody knows the meaning of VCR? Video cassette recorder. Video cassette recorder. Cassette recorder. That's yeah, right. Maybe some of you are, are too young that maybe you never saw a VCR. Maybe. I grew up watching movies in a VCR. Me. <laughs> I do too. I do too. Okay. I have Any, one. Yes, Juan Carlos. Or, or who spoke? You I have one. one. Oh, good. Yes. Save it. You know, in 20 or 30 years, that's going to be a lot of, it's going to be worth a lot of money. It will be an antique. Okay. So, uh, do you guys remember the word cognate? Do you remember cognate? Do you remember the meaning no. of the word cognate? Commit. 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 Let, let me write it in the chat. Uh, it's equal in the Spanish and it's equal in English. Excellent. Very the good. same word is the. Uh -huh. 
Excellent. In English right. and in Spanish. Right. So I was giving you the example of vehicle, vehículo, clinic, clinica, person, persona. So uh, cognates. One word in two different languages. One word in two different languages. So here is where I'm making that observation. Uh, in Spanish, we say teléfono, teléfono, <coughs> transmisión, robótica, lenguaje. So the stress in Spanish is in a different part of, of, of the word. Let me show you. Refrigerator, refrigerator. How many syllables in the word refrigerator? Refrigerator, I think. Refrigerator. In free? <coughs> yeah, refrigerator. What is the short form to say refrigerator in English? Uh -huh. In Free? Spanish, we say refri. I will look at a refri, you know, encontrar. What is the equivalent for English? Fridge. Fridge. So, refrigerator, radio, area, TV, polar, gorilla. Those are examples of, of cognates. Look at the two that I wrote uh, there. Católico, transparente. The words are very similar in the two languages. How do you say católico in English? Catholic. 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 What is the stress in the, in, when you say Catholic? In the first Catholic. Now, how do you say Catholic in Spanish? Catholic. Uh -huh. Catholic. Catholic. Where is the stress in Spanish? The second oh. syllable. Right. But in English, it's in the first syllable. So I have to be careful that because the stress in Spanish is in a particular syllable, it doesn't mean that it's the same in English. So you say Catholic. Same as transparente. If you want to say transparent, you need to say transparent. 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 Where is the stress in transparent? Transparent. Where is the stress? Transparent. The second. Yes. Transparent. Transparent. Yes. So remember, uh, cognates are good between English and Spanish. 60% are cognates, and that's good. But just because the word exists in, in, uh, in Spanish doesn't mean that the pronunciation uh, will be the same as in English. How do you say vehículo in English? Vehicle. 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 Yeah. It's pronounced vehicle. vehicle. No, it's vehicle. 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 Do you have a vehicle? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. No, I yes, don't. I don't. But ah. I have a model. Good, good. Motorcycles are very practical and they're very handy. Motorcycle. Do you remember the word handy? What's the meaning of handy? Uh -huh. Handy is something very useful. Yeah, handy is very useful. So motorcycles are very useful but you have to be careful when you ride them. 
Yeah, practical, yes. All right, any questions or comments? About how to uh, pronounce these words? How to identify the number of syllables in a word? Yes. No? Uh huh. Yeah, Luis. Lara, you raise your hand. All right. So let's change activity. Go here. Do you guys think that appearances are very important? Yes. What can you do to have a good appearance? Opinions? Do exercise. Do exercise. What else? What else? Only exercise? Take a bath every day. Take a, a walk every day. Uh huh. Exercise. Take a walk. Any anything else? Imagine that you're giving advice to your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, father, or mother. What advice would you give them to stay healthy, to have good appearance? Cut okay. your hair regularly. Cut your hair better? Okay, Tishi, you're talking a good, uh, 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 good appearance. Yes, good appearance, yes. And good appearance, we need to, to explain to clean, to clean our, our, our yes. body. And not necessary new clothes. Yeah? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. But, but, but 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 something like our cloth is so is so good, yeah. Uh -huh. Our hair is is on clean, yeah. Clean. Our take a shower. We take exactly. A shower. Yes. Yeah. And and we we, we can use a a cloth close all, but but a formally cloth, no something like if you have a a meeting. You don't use a sport, sport, a sport club. Exactly. You wanna use something like something like like chair polo, and uh, even the the chair is is old. That 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 is that that that's for me is appearance. Right. Good. So Max is mentioning hygiene, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, you know, having a a, a clean haircut. So all those things are important uh, when it comes to uh, appearance. Anybody else? To go to the gym. Go to the gym. Yes. What else? And sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep. Do you like to make siestas in English? Take a nap, no? Take a nap. Yeah. Very good. Take a nap. Yes. Take a nap. All right. Can you take naps during the day? Do you easily fall asleep? Yes, no, no maybe. No. Okay. So let me show you the questions you guys will be discussing. Yes, okay. Sure. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can I have a volunteer to take a screenshot and share it in the group, please? Somebody, anybody? Okay, thank you very much, Letty. And here we go. Breakout rooms. I will make 
eight groups create a room and start talking. Max, can you hear me? Jenny, can you hear me? No, can you hear me, teacher? Yes. Can you go to room seven? No yet, but can I can I unit for, for one room, please? Yeah, go go. I assigned you to work in room seven. Okay, please, please, teacher. Yeah, so join now. Ana Palma is waiting for you. Okay. okay. Do you send me a, 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 how do you say, enlace? Yeah, the, the, the link is right there. Or let me move you to, let me see. I'll move you to a different room. Now, teacher, now, teacher, now. Okay, hold on. Okay, Ana Palma is already connected. Please, no. Yes. Which number are you discussing? The number two, teacher. Okay, very good. Change in, in imperfections, <laughs> use of fashions, in, in exercise, in excessive. Uh, here. What does it mean? I I I don't. I did. Sorry, I didn't brush my feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the, you the, you the didn't brush. And me. <laughs> I I. I no sé cómo comenzar la respuesta. <laughs> which which number are you discussing? Uh, the the second one. one. Second the, one. The second one. Can you please read the second one? The second one. Uh huh. Let me see this here. Uh, what thing do you first notice someone appearing? Uh huh. <laughs> That's a compromising question. <laughs> 
Okay, so what is the answer for that question? <laughs> when is cuando? Yes. Uh -huh. when, when is cuando? But I don't understand the question. When is your appearance most important? Cuando su apariencia es más importante para usted? In a birthday party, in a gym, in the university, in your office? At home for your boyfriend, for your husband? Mm, maybe in, uh, in, how do you say, reuniones or, uh, or? What kind of reuniones? Family or work? Work. Meetings. Meetings. In meetings or interview jobs? Job interviews. Yes. Job, job interview. interview? Yeah. Job interviews. Yeah, job interviews are very important. Teacher, I don't understand the first question because Water, please. Uh -huh. springs is primavera. Okay, that is one meaning, but also spring means jump. ¿Qué salta en su cabeza cuando oye la palabra appearance? Uh, thanks. Okay. Spring also means resorte. Thank you. Uh, Thank Thanks. You. Okay, very good. Someone's appearance. Can you hear the Google lady? <laughs> yes. What things do you first notice about someone's appearance? Uh huh. Uh -huh. What's what things do you first notice about someone's appearance? Notice about. Okay. Quiere decir, ¿qué cosas notaste por primera vez sobre la apariencia de alguien? What do you see uh, the first time that you meet someone? Okay. What do you see? Uh, the eyes, the face. Uh, I see the look, la mirada. That's, 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 a, that's a compromising question, you know. So what is the first thing yes. that you see? Uh -huh. Yeah, so how is people looking for uh, the la mirada? Look, uh -huh. the, uh, the view. Uh -huh. But remember, the appearance engaña. Yeah, appearances are deceiving. Are deceiving. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Thank deceptive. You, deceptive. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. The third, the third, I, I, the third, <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. Please. I look okay. I, I look, I think I look good because my work uh, is the formal dress because I, I am lawyer and I need to formal dress a son, como, no sé cómo se dice, jacket. Yeah, uh, jacket. Jacket and formal pants because the, 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 the meeting, I need the, Good presentation. I, need, I need look formal. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm, presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very well. Uh, Maximiliano, you are you're right. I'm here. I'm here, Cosme. I'm here, Cosme. Oh, I, I don't so, have the creature. Sorry, sorry, Maximiliano. Sorry, no problem. I don't have the creature because I don't have my cell phone <laughs> and computer. <laughs> okay. I'm not in my home. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I listen to you. I'll continue, please. Okay. Okay, okay, we will we'll continue. Um, about the third question. In my opinion, my look today is it's a very relaxed look because um, in this age, in this pandemic age, I, I have to work mm -hmm. online, uh, every day. Um, I'm not, um, I don't take time, I don't take 
um, how I can say that? it's not needed a person of another mm -hmm. uh, point of the communication see me when in this <laughs> my look are in shorts uh chemise and sandalias is the right word sandalias mm -hmm. sandals <laughs> sandals Sand. Sand. sandals okay okay then my look in this moment yeah. is very you relaxed. Look relaxed yeah <laughs> Uh, Maximiliano, what is your opinion? So, yes, I believe that so, mm -hmm. appearance, it can be deceptive. Yes? Yes, actually, in the social media and in the Facebook, you can see a, a, a picture and when you see a person, it, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's a price. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I don't Absolutely. know filter, but the filter is there is a, <laughs> Yes, that is a good example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's not recommended to meet people uh, on Facebook, you know, because like your impression is based on pictures. But yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can be can be deceptive, the appearances. Appearances? I don't know how to... Appearances. Pronounce. Appearances. Appearances? Yes. Okay. Because you can see a woman or man looking so elegant, but in their house can have a big mess or exactly. something like that. Exactly. Yes. I totally agree with you. <laughs> Yeah, and you yeah. would. Yeah, button is not light brown, but are brown, obviously. Okay. Uh, I think my uh, my part. I uh, look I happy is my arm because it looked like uh, stronger. Oh. You, go, you go to the gym. <laughs> No, no teacher. But uh, when I have a child, I work in building construction. Yeah, construction. Construction. And se me hicieron los brazos así. Yeah. <laughs> so I have muscular uh, arms. Yes. Good. Good. That's nice. I uh, guess. Uh, so, uh, some person uh, use the clothes. Uh, for example, you for example use the clothes very casual. It's not necessary mm -hmm. uh, the use. It depend the depend the the different person. Uh, como quieran vestirse. Uh, this is a short uh, idea. Good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And number eight, has your mo mother ever complained about your appearance? Mm, maybe when I was a child, more child, <laughs> because <laughs> I always um, um ¿cómo se diría? how do you say siempre he sido bien delgada I, I always, have always been thin I have I have always been thin tail thin T H T H I N thin thin, thin. Or, uh, or slim or slim yeah uh -huh. Yes. Okay. A little bit. Oh, 
me, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have any questions about today? Not teacher. No question. Not teacher. No okay, teacher. So thank you very much for arranging your time and spending one hour here with us. Thank you very much. Have a good night. We continue tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, good thank night, you. Good night. 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 <laughs> Somebody made a funny noise like good night. I don't know who it was. Good to you, everyone. That was you, Max? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. I'm coming on the last time, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good.